Okay, time to try out shuffle mode. And I'm curious to how this works, how it... Blah. This is shuffle mode, right? No, that's mirror mode. I'll be interested to try that at some point, but I'm not going to do that now. Yeah, you're shuffle. Okay. I'll be interested to see whether it works like uh, Super Mario Bros. crossover, where... Uh, shuffle where the random will choose a different character every single time you die or whether it will only choose a different character every time you enter the level and apparently if me uncle broadsword again oh this level uh, but he can't slip through there because he can't duck so I think this might be sunk unless one of these has a feather oh you have a boot I don't remember exactly where everything was in this level so I guess there's nothing to do but jump out of the boot to get up there because ugh, I think I can make that if I have a bit more speed. There we go. And now I have a second boot. Oh, but this also requires me to make it through. So that's not going to happen. Well, this is probably the dumbest reason to have to re-roll a level, but okay. Now I'm Klonoa. Rerolls definitely change your character. And now... Uh, ho ho ho, can you help me deliver the presents? Well, this is kind of strange uh, to have a level about throwing things with the character whose thing is about throwing things. Whoops. Well, I guess I should probably actually press the button to grab it. Okay, but can I... Ha so I have to... Can I even throw up with her? Dang it. Well, I guess the point is just to hit the blocks, probably, so I can just jump up and hit the block myself. This is totally breaking the point. I'm basically throwing the presents out in front of their front driveway and destroying them. I think this is the worst Christmas ever. Whoops. In fact, I don't even think I need to bring any presents. No, I have to. Whatever, I'm giving you a Koopa for Christmas. You were on the naughty list. run back and forth. <laughs> oh, I keep doing that because I keep forgetting that I can't hover when I have my present. This is taking longer than it probably should have, but... Was there something up there? I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> There's probably nothing super important. Hit that. Good to know. Well, I can't slide down the hill, so... Although that would be fun, I can't do it. What do you have to say? <laughs> He'll steal it back. Oh, no. <laughs> All I need is a Koopa anyway. I don't need a present. I probably could have just flown that one. And I could definitely fly this. For some reason, I'm being encouraged to play with the gimmick, even though that makes no sense with Klonoa. <laughs> Mega Man time! Alright, still haven't gotten Snake, so we're good. <laughs> oh, my... Everything just kind of, like, went nuts for a second. You can die. Wait, what? It's just, like, fish swimming down there? Oh, there's water I can't see. I think something happened to the background. His shots also seem to be having this cool, uh... Whoa! That shell has just gone insane officially. Oh yeah, I can't destroy these guys for some reason. Alright. Now I've got this to make use of. The shots are... Wow. These shots are basically infinite, so I can just wait for the spinies to run into them. Start climbing. Wow, that was a fail on my end. Thankfully you can jump that high. Vertical jumps seem to be the mo bigger obstacle, to be honest. Wow, I could have just gotten left there a little while ago, and I would have been fine. It seems to be vertical jumps that are most likely to get in my way. Horizontal jumps seem to have less chance of, uh... Okay. Ah. I'm surprised that didn't hit the spiny. So wait, did I miss one of these switches, or... Yeah. Well, no, because... Okay, I have to go down and hit that one. 
Yeah, now I get it. I should have that should have clicked sooner. Jump all the way back up. Much easier to control Mega Man than in say Mega Man One, which I only played like one time for one thing. Kick the crud out of a Lekman stage a bajillion times and then never play any of the rest of it. So, yeah, now that I've hit all the switches, I can just have go straight to the exit. I'm home free. Ugh, didn't hit him. The hitboxes on these shots are a little bit weird for some reason. You can die. You can die. Wait. Uh oh. I can jump on this bat though, so I'm good. Yay! That could have been bad for a second. But. I would have uh, lost it right at the end too if I had have uh, let that one go and re rolled. So let's see who I get next. I got three of the better characters so far, I think. But. Honestly, most of them are pretty close. Okay, Wario time. And now I have fireballs because I was Fire Mega Man when I switched out. I wonder if I were to switch in the menu. <laughs> so nice to not be playing this with searchlights. How did I get coins there? How am I getting coins just by pelting this corner with fireballs? I mean, I'll take it, but it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, what am I even hitting here that would cause that? I can just farm coins for hours now. Not that I'm going to actually do that, but... Okay, so this level was weird and kind of forced me to... Going... Oh, Ice Flower. I'll take it, actually. Because I can actually kill the things underwater here that are giving me trouble. Haha! <laughs> Floated straight up into that guy. Cool. It's weird seeing these things... Oops! Wario! Stop hitting the button! Okay. It's weird seeing the torpedo Teds go up upwards instead of downwards. So yeah, I've got tons of coins to build up. I wonder if throwing ice balls into the corner will also get me coins. No. Only throwing fireballs into the corner gets me coins. Gotta be careful with Wario against that guy, but... Not as careful as I have to be with Snake. Huh? As you can probably guess, I did that earlier today, so it's still fresh in my mind. Yeah, look at all the coins I'm getting from that. Goodbye. Okay, yeah, I need to hit the green switch first. Almost forgot the green switch. It would feel so neglected if I didn't get the chance to hit it at least once. Okay, walk out from underneath it to make sure I don't hit it again, especially since the uh, there's no blocks in sight to tell me <laughs> whether it's on or off. I'll let you fire one more time, and now I'll swim through. It, let's crawl. Yeah, that's actually pretty neat because you can't really crawl under the torpedo tents with anyone else. You can duck, but then you can't really move on without jumping, so... Okay. Of course, I can't crawl with the key, so... Fortunately, it's not Super Mario World where I can... Uh, throw stuff with the key in my hand, but then again the key's a pretty nasty weapon all of its own in Smebex, so let's throw that and somehow accidentally take out the Torpedo Ted in the meantime. <laughs> take out that guy. And now I'm about back to where I, about as far as I got with Snake before things started piling up and murdering my face. With Wario, I haven't even taken a hit, because he's totally fine in this level. Okay, so here's about where I everything started going... No, wait, this was the end of the level. I actually beat this level of Snake, I forgot. But what's this way? I'm curious now. There's another key. That guy kills that guy. Is this just for... No, this can't be just for a dragon coin. Since I know Wario can handle this, might as well go exploring. Oh, apparently I can't uh, bonk that from underneath. For some reason I was expecting that. I think maybe because of... Uh, wait. 
What did I do with the key again? Wow, I'm totally blanking. What happened? Getting here. Murder you guys. And so, what do I get for going through here? Another room, apparently. Hey, he didn't throw that back at me. More dragon coins. Well, I can use some extra lives just in case something hard comes along. I still don't know what happens if I die in shuffle mode because I. Wait, no. Did I die? I'm blanking again. I'm starting to get too late at night again. <laughs> I'm not Cubic Tom. I can't record at like 1 o'clock in the morning. Of course, it's not 1 o'clock in the morning, but ooh, cool. Ice. Dang it. Some sort of error. Well, I still seem to be... Uh, I'm... It's still the right character. For some reason, the stage didn't load correctly, which is weird because this stage I know loaded once before. Well, I can grab that, but slashed. All right, I I can grab that, but I kind of want to keep my ice, and I can't seem to get up there for some reason. Whoa! What the? I'm a Rinka. That that makes sense, I think. Right? How? It seems like I can fly for a certain amount of time. I don't have any, like, projectiles, although I am a projectile, so I don't know. Can I even touch anything? I assume that I get hurt if I touch anything at all. But I assume that I also kill it, and that that's what my health bar is for. Weird, this character wasn't even, like, on the character list, <laughs> but... Alright. Takes a bit for my thing to charge back up. Being in a water level <laughs> kind of gives me no advantage. I'm assuming I get to fly, and that would be really useful normally. Not that I'm really sure if a Rinka is supposed to be balanced with everyone else. Or I'm not even sure if there's any other bonus characters like this, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> I'm kind of curious now to be. Okay, fly <laughs> completely around. Let's duck under the sky. Ow. I got hit. Now I'm a small Rinka. So yeah. Okay. You, flo you fall down a lot faster though. On the land. Ow! If I get to the midpoint on this... Oh. Bowser. I might die legitimately with Bowser. So. Punch. Punch. Okay. Wait, didn't I already beat this level with Bowser? I think I did. Let's re-roll. That's, no in that's not interesting at all. <laughs> not only the same level, but the same character. Don't mess up, don't mess up. Okay. Milled Plains. I still don't really know what a milled is, but okay. I sympathize with that other guy who misinterpreted the name milled and for mild and made a level that was mild. Okay, I don't really need the dragon coins, I guess. This level is just strange, if I recall correctly. Also, I just realized I'm actually playing with a member of the original cast for once. That's neat. Straight on the midpoint. Not that there was much more to this level. So yeah, now I want to finally check if you die in shuffle mode, you get a different character. Because, okay, yeah, I'm Samus now. Sorry, original cast member, you don't get the chance to beat any levels at all. So yeah, I, I'm curious, why did I go in here again? That was pointless. Whoa, kind of made a star. And also, I can get this dragon coin without even touching the mild. Just by doing cool stuff with bombs. Yeah, I'm not sure what increases max health exactly with Samus. Whoa, why did I... What What was going on there? Samus was just like, I'm running left now, see ya. Okay. 
and whatever. Not sure what was going on with that. Hopefully it won't happen again. Kill you. The rupee prevents that guy from spawning. Okay, she can't break blocks from underneath. In Super Mario Bros. Crossover, Samus could shoot upwards, but I guess she can't in this game. <laughs> Super Mario Bros. Crossover convinced me that uh, Samus could shoot upwards in her own games, but... Oh, and <laughs> Wario gets the chance to say he beat the Mario Challenge. At least he participated. It's not like I just suddenly got Snake out of nowhere and after not using him the entire time. So yeah, kind of an easy selection of levels there, but... Just wanted to test out the shuffle feature because it's pretty cool to be able to have the character swap every time. And even though Snake will come up on occasion or something like that, I won't be pigeonholed him to him for every run so uh, on a level, so that's that's pretty nice. I'm glad that the characters switch every time you die. So I guess that's the end of this series. Thanks to everyone who watched, I guess.